Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. I've heard from only about 10,000 of you that you really, really, really wish that when you removed houses that there would be a way to fill in the landscape scarring that the foundation leaves behind. Last week, Albert was finally able to check in some code to fill this broad but shallow need, and I'm glad to say that if you remove a building right now in Stonehearth Alpha 18 currently up on the Steam Unstable branch, that house will not leave behind an unsightly hole. Woohoo! This week, let's take a look at how Albert did it, and why it took so long. First of all, the good news, how he did it. Basically, Albert already has Stonehearth remember all the places that your hearthlings have altered the ground, so that he can show you where you have dug in x-ray mode. To get instant refill working for landscape scarring, he had to remember a little bit more data, what used to be in that hole. And then, when a building is removed, the building has to remember the region, really regions for performance reasons, that its foundation takes up, and then submit that to the terrain service. And then poof, the terrain service is able to put back the land that used to be there. In order to get this to work, Albert had to additionally tweak the x-ray mode view so that it would remember where terrain had been added, otherwise the scars would still show up when you went into that view. As he said to us when he checked it in, John Muir would be proud. Ah, but what about the divots left by the goblin camp, you ask? He has another plan for those, but I'm afraid it's much more involved than simply restoring the land under a house that you dug up. First of all, that divot wasn't dug up by you. It was dug up by the goblins, so it isn't being tracked in your x-ray mode data structures. It's stored in the goblins' x-ray mode data structures, even though this isn't used in the game at the moment. In order to be able to put those divots back, we have to save that data, probably as the game master creates the divot, and then find some way to have your hearthlings put all that dirt back. And this is where the feature gets complicated, in every dimension. Originally, we'd planned to implement a dirt tool in Alpha 18, which would act much like the building tool. You'd dig into the ground, and you'd get dirt as a resource back out, and then you'd be able to build structures with it, much like the slab tool. As you can see here, we even did some mock-ups of what this could look like. Unfortunately, the dirt tool turned out to be way more complicated than we expected. The very first problem we encountered was that adding the dirt tool to the building UI felt like it was overcrowding the building UI. However, moving it into a separate terrain section meant that we would have to find new conceptual homes for all of the features we got along with the building UI like Eraser and Undo. And those are all just user experience problems. There were gameplay problems too. For example, how much dirt should you get when you dig into the ground? Should you get a lot of dirt? One piece of dirt for every hole that you make? Just a little dirt with a lot of stacks inside? If you got a lot of dirt the way you do in, say, Minecraft, what would all those objects then do to the inventory cap, and all the memory work Yang has just done to get more objects into the world? What if you didn't want any dirt clogging up your inventory? Would you be able to say that you didn't want dirt? And then there were the actual building code problems. Terrain is not currently hooked up to the building editor at all, so what Albert has been doing recently is figuring out how it should work with your favorite scaffolding and pathing and all the other hard building systems that Chris has been working on all this time. We will solve these one piece at a time. For example, if Albert gets some of the basic elements working, perhaps you'll be able to see hearthlings filling in goblin divots through an intermediary tool, like a special dirt pile that appears in goblin camps. As we solve the inventory and UX problems, perhaps they'll one day be able to do more, until we finally get to the Geomancer, where all of these conversations started. And that's it for this week. Let us know what you think here, in the comments, or on discourse.stonehearth.net. Also, expect your next Desktop Tuesday to be two weeks from now instead of next week, because next week our whole team will be at PAX, showing Stonehearth off to everyone in Seattle. If you're in the area, please come by so that we can thank you in person for being in our amazing community. See you in two weeks!